2018 gets off to a cold start. Homecoming has been postponed. We take a look at Chamber Choir. Also on the show, Mac Track ends today. We get to know one of our hosts. As well as sports, calendar, and weather. All right here on JDTV News. Stay tuned. Welcome to our first show of JDTV News. I'm your new host, Arthur. And I'm your other new host, Alex. Let's kick off the year by talking about homecoming. Homecoming has been postponed from this upcoming week, but keep up that school spirit because we have the new date. Homecoming starts on January 28th, and that's when we decorate everything. Um, so kids will come to school on Monday the 29th and see the walls transformed. Um, and then it's that whole week. There's games um, every day at lunch. There's dress-up days. It's a spirit week. Um, Friday is a big assembly where we'll have skits and judges and big contests. And then um, Friday night and Saturday night are the big homecoming games. And then Saturday we'll crown the royalty, and there's a homecoming dance. One part of homecoming hasn't been delayed. Backtrack has been going on all this week and ends today. Clues have been hidden at the Capitol building, the dentist's office, and the tram. Backtrack is a traditional scavenger hunt for a stuffed teddy bear. This hunt has been going on since the 70s and is a special tradition in the JDHS community. May the best class win. The new year has begun and some hardcore Alaskans have decided to spend it the coldest way possible at the Ocrick main shelter. Some of the bravest residents of Greenwood joined together January 1st at 1 o'clock to jump into the 17 degree water at the annual Polar Bear Dip. What a great way to numb yourself for the upcoming year. Have you ever wondered what goes on behind the scenes in a choir? Yeah, well, here's what goes on. It's a choir class. It's so. choir. Um, it's chamber singers, so it's like more advanced. more advanced. We singing. move at a faster pace than the normal, the like normal. actual scheduled choir. But like honestly, the music and just like the learning process and how we like can just joke off, but also be like yeah. super professional at the same time. It's a really like fun environment, and it's very yeah. like lighthearted and like fun all the time. And you get a lot. You make some fun memories. And like, don't confuse yeah. your hose. Pitches be crazy. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's a good one. That's the best. Uh, <laughs> hose is it's referencing. And singing at the governor's mansion. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, Hose is referencing, like, Hosanna, which means, like, praise the Lord. The class is about um, performance and um, learning to um, succeed in um, classic literature. Scene. Um, it's not difficult, but it's, it's like a jigsaw puzzle because what, what, what will help one student may confuse or confound another student. So it's finding ways for everybody to succeed and then taking the class. <laughs> You should join. Come to our concert. Just kidding, don't come. <laughs> and now it's time for sports, sports, sports. Sports? Sports. I'm sorry, I'm not sure if I know exactly why he's here. Theo. Yes? What time is it? Sports time! Take it away, I guess. These last few weeks have been a busy time for sports. The boys' and girls' basketball teams went to Las Vegas for the Jerry Tarkanian Classic Tournament. Capital City Classic happened and there were games on the last weekend of break. Let's start with the highlights from Las Vegas. The, two, the boys won two of their games and lost two of their games, and the girls lost all four. 
but we hear they had a lot of fun doing it. Capital City Classic also happened. Boys won all three of their games of the tournament, making us Capital City Classic champions. Let's go Bears! Girls won one game and lost one game. If there's one thing I know... One thing we know about the girls, though, they never let their losses get them down because they came into the games this past weekend with fire. Girls came back from that loss with a big win against Thunder Mountain on the 5th, beating them 53-33. to Their second game against TM the next day was much closer, but the girls still won 46-44. to Boys did not do as well. On Friday the 5th, they lost 45-50, to and again on Saturday, 48 to 57. They played hard though, and the season isn't anywhere near over yet. That's all for sports. Thanks, Theo. Sounds like a great start to the season for the Bears. Speaking of future, let's take a look with the calendar. Today, Friday, January 12th, is the first day, the final day of the Mack Track competition. The robotics team begins its competition, and there is a meeting at lunch day in Miss Razor's room, room 308, for those interested in playing softball. Tomorrow, Saturday, Saturday, January 13th, Academic Decathlon continues their tournament and will have their super quiz competition at noon, and anyone is welcome to go to the JDHS library to watch. Last, but certainly not least, Monday, January 15th, is Martin Luther King Jr. Day, and that means there won't be any school. Enjoy your three-day weekend, folks. And that's it for calendar. Lots going on inside JDHS, but what's going on outside? For the weather, we go to Janessa. Thanks, guys. The past few days have been a little snowy, and I'm here to tell you that that won't be changing. As you can see here, Juno has in store for, all Juno has in store for us is snow, and if we're lucky, maybe some rain. Today, the weather will be snowy with a chance of rain. We'll be getting highs of 29 degrees and lows of 28 degrees. The next few days, few days do not seem to differ much. Tomorrow, Saturday, January 13th, we are expected to have rain with highs of 39 degrees and lows of 38 degrees. Sunday, January 14th, the weather is also expected to be rainy. It will likely have highs of around 46 degrees and lows at around 44 degrees. The weather seems to be going up in temperature, but that doesn't necessarily mean it will be more pleasant. And finally, on Monday, January 15th, the weather is expected to be rainy again, and we are probably going to have highs around 47 degrees and lows around 41 degrees. That's all we have for weather. Back to the desk. Thanks, Janessa. Looks like more winter on the way. And finally today, now let's end the show by getting to know Arthur with his look with a look at his biography. How about we don't do that? How about we do? Roll the clip, please. From the Gaelic Artos, the Germanic Auror, and to the Latin Arturios. The name Arthur has meant bear, noble, and strong throughout the ages. First, I lived here, specifically here. Soon the economy crashed, so I wound up here. My grandpa's house is gone now. So later I ended up here, St. Vincent's. Next we, move, oh, we moved over here for a little bit. Oh, what do you know? Back to here. After a while we moved to this lovely place. Again? Here? Seriously? And thus concludes where I've lived so far. Wow, you've lived in a lot of places. Yes, I have. I've moved on a lot. Speaking of moving on, it's time to end the show. Yes, it is. But be sure to visit our website, jdhsvideo.org, for, uh, for, um, for other shows, including some from the last year. And also follow us on Twitter, at jdhsvideo, for updates as they happen. Thanks for tuning in. Join us next week for... And for more JDTV news, go Bears!